Miami and Jacksonville meeting in a huge battle for AFC positioning for the postseason. <laughs> Bigger than that, Jason Orwitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you on the NFL preview show presented by Tyson. Any ties, there's 1 p.m. Eastern on CBS. And Pat, yes. you look at both of these teams. Jacksonville has been great at home all season, but as a whole, which one of these ball clubs is playing better right now? Well, I like Jacksonville. You know, they're hard to understand how they got this good, and they've played pretty well without Rasheen Mathis. But the Miami Dolphins, Chad Henney is starting to emerge. They let him throw the ball over 50 times. They have this wildcat package, which we'll get into, and how problematic it is for their opponents. So I say Miami, in my mind, is building a, a team that's going to be better in 2010. I think that's your question. Well, 2010, but they're still fighting for 2009 postseason. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, as we sit here in Week 14, heading into it, right. are in position where they control their own destiny. They the do control their own destiny, and they're at home, and those are big advantages to have in this football game. And Maurice Jones-Drew, we all know about him. He'll put his team on his back and carry him into the end zone for wins. But what makes them even more dangerous, in my opinion, two of the last three weeks, Mo has been shut down, and David Garrard stepped up and won games. He did it again this week. Uh, absolutely. And the other part to this, in terms of playoff positioning, ja uh, Jacksonville is 6-2 and two against the AFC. So when it comes down to tiebreakers, that could be huge for Jacksonville to get into the postseason. Now, you talked about that. Both these teams are running football teams. Uh, MJD is fourth. Uh, the Jacksonville is fourth in uh, running the football. Mm -hmm. Miami is seventh. But both of these defenses are better at stopping the run. So are you putting this game on the shoulders of Chad Henney, who you mentioned last week through 50 balls, or David Garrard? Who are you trusting more? Um, David Garrard at home and what he has because he's got Mike Sims Walker and I li really like him. I like Torrey Holt where he's coming from and they don't get enough out of Mercedes Lewis, but I'm not going to be choosy here. They have weapons and they have Mo coming out of the backfield. Chad Henney with the 53 attempts last week. I like that, but it's not really when you look at his receivers. He doesn't have a Sims Walker, in my opinion. He certainly doesn't have a Torrey Holt. David uh, Garrard would be my choice. Uh, not yet he doesn't. Brian Hartline's starting to play much better yeah. as, as a rookie wide receiver out of he, Ohio State. He is, absolutely. And I talked to Justin Durant, who's the middle linebacker. So, you know, he's already watched enough tape for to have a nice conversation with me about what he sees. He's got a lot of concerns about the uh, Wildcat, but he also brought up Hartline right away and how they have to pay attention to him without Rasheen Mathis, and he will not go. Jack Del Rio told me this week he didn't strain his groin. He tore that groin right off the bone, yeah. so he may not be able to go for a while. Corner's got to be able to turn, run, stop, start. Yeah. So Hartline can have a big day, but a big enough day? I don't think so. Well, a lot of Dolphins will probably be seeing this football game because, yeah. you know, last week 42,000 fans in Jacksonville, fewest uh, in Jaguars history. They are closer to a sellout. Whether they get there or not, they have till Sunday to, or they have till Friday to do that. Uh, a lot more people will see this ball game. It's an important ball game. Who wins it? I like Jacksonville at home. I think they, you know, they have a chip on their shoulder. Talking to their players, they're not upset about the fans not coming to the game, but they feel, and it's an un unbelievable instinct they have, that they feel they have to prove to their fans they're worthy of coming to see, that they play with that intent. There'll be a lot of Dolphin fans in the stands. That's going to work against the Dolphins. I think the, the Jaguars look up and see that. They'll play with even more intensity. I like them. Maurice Jones-Drew, to me, is something special. Give me those games. Low-scoring game. Low Both scoring teams game. under 21. Five straight wins at home for the Jaguars. We'll see if they can make it six on CBS 1 p.m. Eastern. For more on this game right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show. Presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take, Take care, care folks. folks.